Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteratEverything.info. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to go over how you use uh, Autodesk Design Center. Uh, it's its own kind of tool palette window that you can bring up. Um, and with it, you can kind of bring in uh, blocks, you can transfer layers or uh, different layouts from one drawing to another. Uh, it's pretty useful and I'm going to show you a few of the main features. So to bring up the design center you're going to type in A, the letter A, the letter D, and then center. Add center and hit enter. So here we have as you can see on the left design center uh, window and along the top here there's uh, three different tabs. Under folders, this is where you can bring in your uh, any blocks you've got saved on your computer, uh, different fonts. Say so you've got custom fonts you want to bring into one drawing. Um, it defaults here to the the blocks that come with AutoCAD, so you can just choose a block, right click, and then you have all your options. So you can attach it to your drawing as an XRF. You can copy it. You can insert it into your drawing right now as a block. All that kind of stuff. The other cool option. Um, that I'm going to show you today is the open drawings. So if you look down here I've got three drawings open and each one's got a few different things in it that we're gonna kind of play with. So the one we're in right now is the, the waterline example. That's right here. We're gonna bring the layouts so you can see here I've just got layout 1 and layout 2, the default layouts. I'm gonna bring a pre-made layout layout with a title block already in it that I have in my city example. I did this drawing a little while ago so we're gonna bring the layout which is right here so to do that you're gonna select the drawing you want that is open that you wanna bring something in from you're gonna select layouts and it's gonna show you the ones that are in that drawing so I'm gonna bring in an eight and a half by eleven portrait I'm gonna right click and say add a layout now you can see down here that it's now brought it into this drawing, which is a different drawing than the one it was in. So if you click on it, you can see the layout is already in, everything's set up. Uh, you can adjust the scale. So I'll just double click in here, change that. There you go. You got a new layout that you didn't have to remake from scratch. This is awesome if you've got a, a standard layout you use, if you want to just bring it into a drawing you're working on. Simply open up Design Center and copy it in from another drawing. It saves you a lot of time. There's no inserting, no scaling. It comes in correct every time. Uh, the other nice feature is you can bring in custom line types. So say I had a custom one in this drawing. You could uh, right click it and just say add line types. This keeps everything consistent and the same within drawings if you want to just bring in everything. Uh, also if you created a custom uh, dimension style or you had a cool block that you wanted to bring in. So I'd like a scale bar in this drawing here. So we're going to bring in the scale bar block, which is in another drawing. So we're going to go insert block. It's going to ask us some stuff. Uh, we're going to specify where we're going to put it. So I'm going to leave that checked. And we'll leave it at scale of 1. So now you can see in the background here, I can bring in my scale bar. Obviously, the scale is way off for my drawing. but you can see it worked pretty easily. Uh, the history tab. This shows the history of the drawings you've been using. Um, I haven't had, I don't have anything in the history because I just started this up. But you could uh, open these drawings. So say you're looking for a drawing you worked on like a week ago or two weeks ago. Uh, you can just go to the history tab here, right click and open the drawing from there. Um, I tend to use this mainly for the open drawings one or the folders where you can just dig through AutoCAD stuff. Um, but yeah, there you have it. That's AD Center or the Autodesk Design Center. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my site. Thanks for watching. Cheers.